Hi there, my name is Don Bauer and on this video I'm going to show you how to make a composite image. Uh, so it's not necessarily a photograph because it's a couple of photographs kind of stuck together um, where you have to do a bit of editing to make it uh, cool and interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take three, two or three photos of myself in my living room. So this is my living room. I'm going to be standing around there and I'm going to do it in a cool way so that all the so I'm in the image three times, so it's me. So for that, I'm gonna have my camera on a tripod or just where it can be left stationary. And I'll put the self timer on so I can get into position each time. And I might change my clothes to make it a bit more interesting as well. And then I'll show you how to edit it. So I'll just put you here. So here's the first image. Image number two. And finally, image number three. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll just see how they look on the computer. Okay, so first thing I need to do is go and upload the images onto my computer. So I open up Lightroom and select the images that I want. You can use Picasso or wherever you want, just wherever you can get it onto your computer. So there's first picture, second picture, and third picture. They're all looking good, no problems there. Next thing I need to do is open up GIMP. GIMP 2.8 is the latest version that I've got. And once in GIMP, I go up to File and I go to Open. And I now need to find the images which I've uploaded. So I'll just go to the folder where they are and click Highlight All Three and go to Open. So this needs a little time to load up and that'll open up the three images. So what I've actually got is the three images here on the screen which you can see. I need to put them all into a single image. So first of all, I'll go onto the first image and select the image and then press Control c That means I've copied everything and then I can close it down. Don't need to save it, so I'll just close it. Then I'll go into the second image, then press Control v and That means I've pasted the image onto it. So the old image have disappeared. And I need to go to the layer section and at the floating layer, we want to turn that into an actual layer. So click that and go to New Layer. So as you can see, there's two images now, the image below and this image. But I've still got this third image in the back, so I need to click on that one again. Again, Control c and then close that down. Don't need to save it. And go to the original image, click on it and press Control v So now, again, I need to change the floating layer and turn it into an actual layer. So now I've got three images all on one page. So let's zoom in so we can see a bit clearer. Okay, so what we need to do is to... Okay, let's do it. If we're going to do it simply, we're just doing that image and... No, not that one. Let's change it so it's just... Oh, nah, oh, okay, that's no images. So the bottom image and the top, it. no, not that one, this one. Okay, got it, sorted. And this can be done very, very easily because the images aren't uh, overlaid in any way. So all I need to do is make sure I've highlighted the image which I actually want. Make sure I select it. And I'm going to go up and use the lasso tool. The lasso tool is the one that looks like a little cowboy thing and just make that around me, make sure it joins at the top and now you can see there's like these running ants going around me and that means everything inside that is selected but I want everything outside of that to be selected so I go up to select and press invert so everything outside of me is now selected and if I just press delete on my keyboard all of that's disappeared and now the old photo or the photo below it comes up and then if I go up to select, select all, or select none, there you have a composite image done straight away. Nice and easy. And that didn't take any time at all. I was able to do that because I did it on a tripod. If I'd done it handheld, then I'd need to change around and do lots of tiny little adjustments to the position of the shape. But now, if I want to get the next image in, this one, this is going to be a bit more difficult. But it's still quite simple to do. So what I need to do is go and select this image 
and I'm going to do a layer mask. Now for that, right click on the image and go to add layer mask. For this one, I'm going to actually need it so that it's full transparency. So what will happen is I will disappear. So I just click on that and press OK. And look, I've gone. And the old image, the old two images below are now visible. So what I need to do is then go and kind of erase the part of the screen where I should be. And I will come back up. So I click the erase and make it a soft, soft circle and make this size a bit bigger. So uh, bugger, make it big. Round about here, so I'll just start stroking around here, stroke my face, and as you can see, I start coming into the screen. I'll just do it quite basically. If you want to get really detailed, you can do it very finely with uh, the lasso tool again, or I'm sure there's lots of other ways, but this is just a nice, simple, easy way. And what you see is this is painting me in, but if I were to go over to my other face, uh, it would actually take away my face, so that's not good. So we'll just uh, ignore that, go back onto me. And what I need to do is I need to get a little bit more accurate. So I need to zoom in, and as you can see, it's not quite that great. So I need to go to the eraser button again and change the size so I can be a bit more accurate. And uh, maybe there. And I'll just speed it up so you can see how it goes. And I'm sure there's more accurate ways of doing it, but this is simple, fast, and easy. And then you can see I'm on the other side as well. You can actually see it's taken a bit of the old image of me away, so I go back and I use the paintbrush and I just paint myself into the image. And just again trying to keep close to the to the other images. And you see because I sat down it's completely changed the shape of the chair and everything. So that's something you've also got to be aware of. Things changing when you go to different positions on the sofa. Okay, now as you can see, that's an image done. Okay, what's that? That's been seven and a half minutes from shooting to having it fully completed, three images all stuck together. I see that's pretty cool, pretty easy. Um, so if you have any other questions, feel free to send me an email or put a request at the bottom of this video and please make sure you subscribe because that's great. And uh, I'll just show you a couple other images which I've done in the past which have been like that. So here we've got one of me snowboarding, no sorry, not me snowboarding, um, but it's this is a really cool kind of idea where you've got four or five frames a second image, you can do uh, great images for sports. And again it's just all about being accurate of how close you can get to the actual image. There's that guy smashing his head off the floor. And then here's there's the final one which I did of one, two, three, four, five, six of me. Five, six, five, five. Okay, so hope that helps. If you have any questions, just leave a message and please subscribe. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.